Since 1992, December 3rd has been observed by the United Nations as a day to discuss issues that emanate from living with disability and promote well-being of the challenged all over the world. Currently, 15% of the world's population or an estimated 1 billion people live with one form of disability or another. They are called the world's largest minority. As part of efforts to make their voices heard, this group, Women and Children with Disability Initiative, organized this event in Lagos, Nigeria. In our homes, a lot of parents are still ashamed to, ide to identify with their physically challenged children. Some of them even kept them in the house, locked them up, I mean, waiting for them till they will die. Tadi Ladipo, a pilot who lost his job when he lost his sight to an accident, shares some of his pains with me. You can be useful to yourself, you can be useful to the family, you can be useful to the community, even the street and where you are living. So the first limitation is by our own people. In their opinion, other states in Nigeria need to learn from Lagos State, which has formulated policies to compose really integrate physically challenged persons into the society. Efforts of a small group like this may be limited, no doubt, and that's why the United Nations says everyone must contribute to making life easier for people living with disabilities by celebrating their achievements, organizing advocacies, formulating as well as implementing policies that would break barriers, open doors for an inclusive society for all. Chris Okwala, TVC News, Lagos.